the the master teacher as we're talking about David if you can explain it to a five six year old you're ready to go work with high level players and I know that sounds backwards to an extent but the teacher's ability to take a very complex concept we mentioned the library and Debbie up and the go zone and, and the runway and make space for you to be able to explain that in simple easy to understand terms to five-year-olds and you give them a corresponding cue to understand and own that concept there's the connection I call it C3 right concept find some cues that make sense and then does it connect to the mindset and the understanding of that athlete the three C's in power teaching and and you're right you want to be a great teacher go and see if you can present things to five and six year olds the, the players that that i see at our facilities and around the world you give them a big leaguer or you give them a five-year-old the master teachers not not only understand the audience but their ability to understand a concept and be able to break it down that's why working with five and six year olds when people sometimes come to some of our facilities tony i want to work with all the big leaguers i want to work with the first rounders that's the easiest thing to do. That is the simplest thing to do because they're pretty close to being real good. You're doing some fine tuning. Let's see you take a five or six year old and get them to understand footwork and throwing sideways and teach them the power of anchoring and understanding the zombie feet as we call it, right? All these natural movements that are going on and get them to understand that and integrate mental skills with a five year old. That's the master teacher. And I, I think that's where sometimes teaching could be better that guys that want to coach in college or coach in pro ball go get some rud racks go work with the six and the six-year-olds that we saw the other day and see if you can control the audience with them see if you can understand that simple monosyllabic words are much better learn how to pause in between activities because the brain needs time to do what to recalibrate and take the new concept in instead of saying something then and very quickly asking them to, to kind of redo their motor skills the magic of the pause not only helps them prep the flow but gives the brain a real good opportunity to take in that information through here give it a chance to, to I call it percolate and maybe on the next time that the motor skill gets fired you've got better results on it that's where working with those youngsters makes you the master teacher for all ages. Mm.